Hey everyone, it's April from Well Life Yoga and Health. How are you? Uh, today we are going to start a flow where we are focusing on the third eye. We will be also working into the sacral chakra, so a little bit into the hips and the solar plexus as well, so the core, but the focus is gonna be the third eye so we can find our literal focus. <laughs> All right, so resting the hands on the knees or perhaps in the lap, whatever your preference is, we'll go ahead and do a short meditation. Feel free to fast forward through this if you don't have time for the meditation. And we're going to have an upright spine. Begin dialing down the eyes. So eyes closed or soft. Breathe into the belly. And let the shoulders start to have weight in them as the elbows pull towards the ground. Pressing into the sit bones as you lengthen the crown towards the sky. Take a deep breath into the belly. Exhale to let it go. And making sure we're also relaxing our face here. So the eyebrows, the jaw, the third eye is the sixth chakra from the base of the spine so it's right about here between your eyebrows but a little bit higher so if you look into that space where your eyes are closed looking cross-eyed and up Maybe you see the outline of an eye, your third eye, seat of your intuition, of inner wisdom, of connection to your intuition and the universe, clarity. And the affirmation I would like to offer you today is I honor all my successes and my failures. We're either learning or we're winning. I honor all my successes and my failures. Maybe a slight tuck to the chin as you lengthen that crown towards the sky. Take a few more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. Let it go. And slowly fluttering, open the eyes. I honor my successes and my failures. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started. So coming on to hands and knees. And let's get a little bit of cat cow in waking up the spine. But this time, let's go ahead and do a little bit of motion. So lowering the belly and maybe bending the elbows, stretch the scapulas. And then we're going from side to side in these little barrel rolls. Pressing away as we stretch, lowering down as we open. Lower down, lift the chin and the chest. Press up, tuck the chin and the chest. Now let's go the other direction. Press and really accentuate your stretch here. Finding movement in the hips, in the elbows, in the upper body. All right, now coming back through center, go ahead and walk the hands forward, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Maybe walking it out a little bit here. Planting the left foot, we'll lift that right leg high. Three-legged dog, square hips. So here when our toes are down, we're going to lift and keep the toes pointed down. See how I lift my heels straight up? And then squeeze the glute towards the sky. So heels pressing up, glute is active here. And then go ahead and open, toes point out. Now bend the knee, squeeze the heel towards the bum as we point the toes. Start to put weight back into that right shoulder to square them, but keep the knee where it is. Breathe here. And then let's do some circles, opening up that hip. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and bring that knee towards set nose pressing up see how i'm stretching my scapulas here plant the right foot on the outside of the hands coming into an active lizard yes it's one of my favorite poses but it's very very necessary today we'll be flying through ekapada kundinyasana hopefully <laughs> um, but if you don't achieve it today just know that it's a work in progress everybody is at their own level and it's a journey. And don't worry because there are tons of yoga poses to work towards and you can't do them all. So just keep that in mind. Rocking here, opening that hip flexor. Go ahead and lower the knee, untuck the toes. Maybe come down to the elbows for a few breaths. Pull that knee in, it's gonna wanna fall out. Try to keep it active here, pulling it in towards the arm. Let's take one more breath. Squeeze that leg towards that arm and then press into the palms. Come back with the knee lifted and then step it back, downward facing dog. Press the chest towards the legs. Maybe fix your dog if it feels a little funky. Make sure you've got about three feet or so, maybe a little more depending on your height. I'm only five foot three, so I don't need much space. <laughs> Lifting that leg straight up, left leg, three-legged dog. Remember, heel goes straight up, glute is active. Now turn the toes out. Now bend the knee, squeeze the heel towards the bum, press and point the toes. And then come back into that left shoulder. So we're nice and square with the top of the mat. That knee still lifting. Now do some circles, opening the hip. And come back, knee up, and then straighten the leg. Bring the toes style down, bend the knee towards the nose. So up towards the belly, in towards the nose, and pressing away stretching the scapulas plant the foot on the outside of the left hand active lizard here so we're really keeping that back leg nice and straight nice and active we're not letting the knee kind of sink here 
not putting too much strain on that hip flexor, but we're stretching it as we're also strengthening it. Take one more breath. Squeeze that leg into the arm already. And then start to lower it down, untuck the toes, come to the elbows, and continue to squeeze that left leg towards that left arm, the knee towards the arm or the shoulder. Breathe here. Nice and deep stretch today. Take one more breath. I'm gonna start to come back up through the palms. Step it back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And then we're gonna look forward and we're going to hop to the top, but outside of the hands for Malasana. So we hop and then we lower down, hands to the chest, press the knees out. Take one more breath. Plant the palms, hop it back or step it back. Downward facing dog, fix your stance here. And then come to plank. Let's go through a chaturanga. Upward dog. And downward facing dog. Take another breath here. Let's do that one more time. So plank, press forward, shoulders go past the wrist. Keep the elbows close to the body. Chaturanga or to the belly. Upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and widen the feet as wide as the yoga mat. Let the toes spill over. Start to walk the hands back to meet the feet. Lowering down through that malasana, pressing those knees out. And then hands come down. So imagine you're just here, shoulder width, plant the hands where they land. So that should be your shoulder width, okay? Fingers are always wide, like a high five. Press up into the hips, so lifting the hips. Heel toe, the feet all the way to the center. We'll try for a crow pose, so bring the feet all the way together. Lift the knees and bring them towards the insides of the armpits. You see that there? And you see how my elbows are going out? Now I'll scoop them in and back so the eyes are facing forward and then looking forward, start to put weight onto your arms. And then maybe looking forward, looking forward, we lift one leg and then we lift the other, crow pose. Squeeze the heels towards the bum and then maybe we come down. So just a little practice here. We're gonna go try our ekapada now. So walking the hands back forward into your downward facing dog. And maybe today, maybe today we're just doing the strength movements, okay? So find your stance, downward dog. Now we shorten our dog a little bit and we lift that right leg high. Now we bend the knee and come towards that right elbow on the outside Start to bend your arms into a chaturanga and then lower the left hip to the left elbow. Now maybe we start to straighten that right leg and then we lift the back leg. Ekapada Kundinyasana. Lower the back foot, come back through chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. Take a breath. That is a wicked arm balance. It's an intermediate balance. So if you only came to the elbow or you came near the elbow, that's fine today. That works for your journey. Take one more breath. Maybe come to the knees. Rest the arms. Finding that focus. Massaging that third eye. And breathe. Relax the arms for a second. Pressing up into the palms. 
we're going to do the other side. Walk the hands into your downward dog. Lift the hips. So normal stance for downward dog, then you shorten it just a little bit. Now lift the left leg high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, and it goes towards the chest like it normally does, but then out towards the elbow. And then chaturanga arms, so eyes of the elbows facing forward. And we rest onto that right hip on the elbow. Straighten that left leg. Start to fly the back leg up. Really strong here. Engage the core, the legs, and then lower the back foot. Come back into your plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. And downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Lift the fingers off only on the palms. And then come down to the knees. Wide leg child's pose. Send the hips back. Third eye resting on the mat. And for an extra bonus, maybe we reach the left hand to the right heel. Right hand to the left. Breathe here, massaging that third eye. Or maybe we rest on our cheek. That feels a little better. Really catch your breath here. The harder the pose, the more recovery time. But you definitely feel the heat from it. Now switch the hands so the left hand goes over the other hand or reverse whatever cross you had. And we roll through third eye massage and onto the other cheek. Take one more breath. And then walking the hands out, walking them forward. We'll bring our right knee to our right wrist. Bring that foot across to the other side and walk the left leg back, coming down through a resting pigeon. And if you are falling onto this side like this, and you're kind of a little like more up here where you're lifted, maybe put a prop here or a blanket or a pillow and then come down so you can have square hips. So you're not leaning one side, you're leaning right in the middle. Maybe our forehead comes to the ground and we really just relax that upper body, relax into that hip, that inner thigh, I celebrate my successes and my failures. I am grateful for all my successes and my failures, however you want to word it, knowing that they all serve you. And they all serve a purpose to get you to where you need to go or to inspire action in the right direction. So if one door closes, like they say, there's a reason another one's going to open. One more breath. I'll go ahead and look forward. Let's walk the hands back. Tuck the toes. Bring that knee forward back knee and then that front knee comes back to meet the other left knee comes to left wrist walk that foot across to the right and then walk the back foot so that the hip lowers and then coming down through your sleeping pigeon remember trying not to lean on one side more than the other
take one or two more breaths. And then coming up, start to walk the palms, tuck the back toes, bring that knee forward. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually sit on our left hip, swing that leg around, come to lie on the back, finding your corpse pose, Shavasana, final resting pose representing our real life where this is our final resting pose back to stillness i honor my successes and my failures again however you want to word it i am grateful for I honor, I celebrate, I embrace, knowing that your successes and your failures make you who you are and can either make or break you. So what do you want? What will you allow? Take one more breath. Exhale out all of the breath. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Press all the breath out of your body. Inhale into the belly, the ribs, the chest. Hold at the top, Kumbhaka. Five, relax, four, Three, two, one, let it go. Feel gravity, the weight of it on your body, holding you to the earth, gluing you to its surface, and really supporting you here in your successes and in your failures. All right, slowly bringing the knees back into the chest, maybe a little squeeze, a little rock here, maybe a big hug. You can also bring your knee to your nose or nose to your knees, both. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then lower down, start to rock your way up or slowly get up however you can. This feels great to me. <laughs> All right. Coming back into our easy pose. Oh, good practice, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave feedback down below. If there's any particular poses you would like to work on or any area in the body or you want something more restful, um, what I typically do is vinyasa yoga, yin yoga, and general hatha yoga. So um, my local class is my... Um, one of my classes is hatha and vinyasa so we're holding poses but we're also flowing and then my other class is a yin and yang yoga so we have vinyasa um, getting heated for the first half of the class and then we end with yin so if you want a yin class let me know too all right so we're going to go ahead and close our eyes inhale into the belly shoulders come to the ears exhale pull them down Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We'll end class with three ohms. So after every inhale, we'll ohm. Are you ready? Inhale. 
Now we bow the head to the heart, mind intelligence to the heart intelligence, knowing that if we listen to our heart and we think through it, we can usually find our answers. And now bowing to each other, thank you so very much for sharing your practice with me. For taking the time to take care of yourself. And most of all, for supporting my channel. Thank you so very much. If you really like that, if you could please drop a like, a comment, subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to share this with someone who you think will like it, go ahead and do that too. All right. Everything that you do helps me to build this channel and to reach more people. So if you really like it, share it. Okay, guys. And again, if there's any requests that you have, let me know below. All right. Bye. Peace out.